I want to just kind of explain how to use the CPCTC uh, concept. And in some classes, in some books, they call it CPCF. So let me just see if I can show you what I mean. Let's say we have two triangles like so. Say that we can prove that these triangles are congruent. Like this entire triangle is congruent to this entire triangle. Meaning if I take some scissors, I cut it out, I place it on here, they're going to be exactly the same. They're going to match up perfectly. If I can do that, then what that means is that every part of this triangle, meaning all three angles and all three sides, the, the ones that they match up with or correspond with, they're going to be congruent. So first step is to prove the triangle is congruent. Then everything that matches up or corresponds will be congruent also. And that's what the CPCTC tells us. Okay, so in this proof, they're giving us some hints here. They're telling us that segment RT is congruent to segment VT. And what I like to do is I like to just mark it on the diagram. So I don't have to remember it in my mind. I can just see it visually. And they also tell us that angle R is congruent to angle V. So again, I'm just going to make a little mark here to show that these two angles are congruent. Okay, and then what we're trying to prove is that angle U is congruent to angle S. Okay, but the first thing we want to do is we want to prove these two triangles congruent. Now, if you've been working with the congruent um, triangles chapter in your geometry class, you learn that there's five different ways to prove triangles uh, congruent. You can use the side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle 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 side or hypotenuse leg if they're both right triangles right so which one of these can we use to prove that these two triangles are congruent well you can see here that these two angles are vertical angles they're going to be congruent to one another so that's going to be part of our proof so we're going to go ahead and show that angle str put that down here angle str is congruent to angle uh, let's see UTV, UTV, and the reason would be vertical angle theorem. Okay, I'm just abbreviating. Now you can see that these two triangles are congruent. If I was to take this triangle and rotate it like 180 degrees, they're going to match up angle side angle, angle side angle. So you can see that's this one right here. And even though it's just three components, it allows us to prove that the entire triangle is congruent to the, the other entire triangle. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we have triangle. Uh, RTS is congruent to triangle, let's see, VTU. Now the order is important. Notice how I went RTS, VTU. I went from this angle with one, mar uh, one arc uh, to this angle with two arcs to this angle with no arcs and then back. So I went one, two, zero, one, two, zero. So I'm going around so that when I match them up, they're in the same uh, relative position to one another. Okay, and the reason for that is the angle side angle uh, triangle congruence theorem. We'll just write angle side angle. Okay, now that we know that the triangles are congruent, we can go to our last statement, okay, which is what we're trying to prove, and that's that angle U is congruent to angle S, and that's by the CPCTC. Once we prove the triangles are congruent, if we take this triangle, we rotate it, everything that matches up, you can see angle S is gonna match up with angle U, those are gonna be congruent as well because we've already proved that the entire triangles are congruent. So the only thing that I really left off here are uh, the givens, okay, and so we, we usually put that somewhere near the beginning of the proof, that's what I normally do just to get out of the way. I would put these two statements right here. You can see this is only about four steps. Some of the proofs that you're gonna be doing are a little bit longer, but this one was a little bit shorter. We just had to show the triangles congruent and then the parts that match up will be congruent as well. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with the CPCTC or the CPCF, depending on how uh, your teacher uh, uses that uh, acronym. And uh, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other videos on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.